I have loads of bobby pins in here and I have like three. Hello, so for today's video I thought we'd do something a bit different. I thought we'd do something with hair. To excuse my roots though, because obviously they're gonna come through. My hairdresser's not here. I miss her dearly. <laughs> so basically I saw this um, IG, IGTV, is that what they're called? On GHD hair. Um, so this is from oh my god I'm gonna really butcher this and I'm so sorry I'm gonna leave her at here as well and I'll also link her Instagram and GHD below so you can go and check out the video and stuff Naja maybe possibly I'm not entirely sure I do apologize um so she creates like these waves with just a hairdryer and a diffuser and I have GHD hairdryer and a diffuser um so yeah I thought we'd give it a go today because it looked super interesting and I was like I wonder if it works so we're gonna sort of like watch along the video as well as on screen so you can see as well like, how beautiful does that look so she's using some sort of lift root spray which I don't think I have anything like that. Like, I have, like, a blowout cream. But I think I'm going to stick with this because my hair is super frizzy. So, and this always, like, just helps sort of tame the hair. Especially if I'm just blow drying it. It's not a good idea. So, this is from GHD. And this is the Advanced Split End Therapy. I love this. I've gone through... I think this is, like, my second one. And this is nearly, like, gone. Um, It's just super beautiful, like I said. It literally just smooths the hair out. Um, I have yeah like I said very frizzy hair so I just typically run that through the ends and then what's ever left over I just sort of go through make sure I get all my hair because I have a lot of baby hair as well so I just want to make sure I get those ends in <laughs> Now she's gonna blow dry it because typically with these sort of things you want your hair to be I think it's like 60 to 90 percent dry and it looks like she's using a paddle brush which I think was she using a paddle brush oh now she's using a paddle brush it looks like she's sort of blow dried blow dried her hair a little bit and then sort of went in with a paddle brush which I also do have so this is from GHD as well basically I think I bought this with like the hair straightener which I bought years ago and it is so good to me so I'm just gonna grab my hair dryer so it is also from GHD I'm a firm believer in GHD I absolutely love them uh so yeah let's just go and blow dry the hair Okay, so I say we're more or less dry. We're still a little bit damp, but not like as wet as we was. Um, I don't particularly love using a paddle brush to do it. I prefer like a roller brush. Um, I don't know, like I just feel weird using a paddle brush on wet hair. Like I just, it's either that or I use like a wide tooth comb or the, um, uh, what's the tangle teaser? Like wet brush, that's a really good one. Um, but I mean, it's smooth. I'd say it's smoother than with a round brush really so it was nice but I just feel weird using a paddle brush so I'm just gonna watch the rest of the video <laughs> So as you can tell, she's done like little twisty knots and then obviously placed it in with a bobby pin. I, I'd say my hair's probably, I wouldn't say, if you can see, I wouldn't say it's that much shorter than hers. Um, but I feel like I am going to go just a little bit looser um, just because I feel like if I'd done it really tight, it could be a really hot mess. So let's try and attempt to do this. I have got bobby pins right behind me. Um, so yeah, let's give this a go. Looks like she does the top of her head first before she goes ahead and starts doing the bottom. 
So I don't know how many pieces of hair she actually takes. Let's watch the rest of the video and find that out first. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like she has six, so let's attempt to do six, shall we? How are we going to do this? Six, do like this much hair at the back. I, I don't, I'm so confused, because me, I'm like always like, right, start from the bottom. I'm not very good with hair, clearly. I literally straighten, curl it. I'll tell you what I have been loving, though, like the Dyson Air Wrap. Oh my god, absolute game changer. Like, it's so expensive, but it's so good. Um, if you wanted to, I'd do like a little... I might do like a review on it, like, uh, and show you all the different hairstyles you can get from it and stuff. Like, it is so, so good. I feel like it's one of those things that's just like user... Beginner friendly, even not user friendly. So, I, I'm just gonna try and do this the best I can. <laughs> It looked like she sort of it was a like twist twisty and then wrap. Oh god. Okay, right. So I think that's the best we're gonna get out of this. So don't use your teeth to do it unless you're doing it on your own hair. Let's stay in place is the real question. Ha <laughs> ha! We got it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of do that throughout my whole head. So I'm going to use the GHD heat protector spray. So I'm just going to spritz that on. I feel like it's super important to use heat protector spray. Obviously mine's probably not as neat as hers. It's a little bit messy. But I feel like at least we've got them going. Because it was a struggle to get here. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> so I'm just going to switch over to diffuser. Because that's what she done as well. So I'm just going to quickly change my little attachment. I think... It was on the medium scene. Oh, it's hard trying to pause this video. So I have it on the medium scene. So obviously she just went along and sort of was like this and dried it. Obviously mine is still a bit damp. So obviously the video is like three minutes long because you're not going to see all of it. So I'm just going to sort of quickly go ahead and do that. So I do like to switch over to the cool setting. I just feel like, I don't know, it does something. I, just, I don't know what, it just does. <laughs> so I'm just going to flip it one down. Uh, by the way, this is the GHD air dryer, as in air, not the Halo one. And I don't know, I don't think the Halo one comes with the attachments. Obviously, it's all your personal preference because they have like white and mint green and blue and it's super beautiful, but... Yeah, this is this one. Obviously, I'll link all of it below as well and the website and stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to so flip it down and do that. And mine's already like falling out. Clearly, I haven't put them in good. So obviously, she's just take them out now. she took it out put some serum on put some hairspray on so that's what we're gonna do so <laughs> this one's already like loose so let's just unwrap her now i've got a feeling though my hair's just not gonna 
not gonna sit right. Oh my god, I'm so glad I'm okay. My hair still feels like wet, especially at the root, which I was worried about. Maybe I should have dried it more. So I'm just gonna take these all out so I can find the pins. I feel like I should have dried it a bit more. Um, I can definitely feel like it's wet here and that's probably my mistake. I feel like I need to be a lot more drier before doing it. Um, so I am going to take some serum now just so we can sort of smooth it out and get it to look a little bit more cleaner. Uh, so this is from, I call it T-I-G-I, but it might be like Tiggy, I don't know. But this is the S Factor and this is a smoothing luminizer and this smells so good. And that's the only reason I picked it up. Like my hairdresser used it on me and I was like, what is that? She was like, this? And I was like, yeah, I want that in my life. It smells so good. So I'm just going to sort of run that through my hair. I'm just going to take a wide tooth comb and just sort of brush through it. Okay, so I feel like it's there. Like, we could make it work. Obviously, this bit of my hair is very flat. Um, yeah, I feel like the, whole, the overall thing would work. But I feel like I need to do it a second time round and really take my time with it um i feel like it was just like do you know sometimes like, obviously like with makeup videos as well like you watch it and you're like well if i can do makeup videos in 13 minutes then why can't i but this is just not the case at all like a three minute video i would literally not take you three minutes in real life um but i feel like the overall effect is really good it's just a little bit more practice i feel like especially this bit of my hair like my fringe i think my fringe has come out super nice this is all really nice down here. This side's not that bad. This bit's a bit like ski whiff, but I mean, I'm quite happy with it. Um, obviously I wouldn't go out pouting like this. I'd be like, right, I need to go and like put it up in a ponytail or something. But I mean, with like a few little pins in that she had, I think, yeah, it looks super cute, got like the little clips. Uh, yeah, I think, it, I think it does work, but obviously just a little bit more practice. So yeah, this is the end of the video. Hopefully you found it a little bit interesting. I like doing these sort of videos. I might do one where I follow a Jamie Page tutorial where she does the foxy eye because she literally made me like wax majority of my eyebrow off. So I might do that soon, but I do like it. Just like I said, more practice. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.